objective today was round a given decimal to any place values and place value understanding and the vertical number line. Okay, well here we have 225 and 286 thousandths. So first thing we're going to do is I'm going to add a hundreds place in here just so I can write the number in. And we have 225 and 286 thousandths. Now the first one says we're going to be rounding to the hundreds. So I'm going to take unit form to the hundreds. And that means that I'm going to take this whole number right here, and I'm reading that to the hundredths. So it ends up being 22,528 hundredths, six tenths, six thousandths. And what that allows me to do down here at the bottom now, since we're rounded to the hundredths, we know that the bottom of our vertical line is 200, excuse me, 22,528 hundredths. And the question is, is it 22,528 hundredths or is it 22,529 thousandths? Now, right in the middle between the two, we know we're going to have 22,528 hundredths and five thousandths. Now, when we come back to our number, we can see we had 20, 22,528 and six thousandths. So I'm plotting that right now, and that would be approximately right here. Because if this was five thousandths here, six thousandths can be one more. Now, since it's a, at or above the center line, we know we're rounding to 22,529 thousandths. The second one, we're going to the ones place this time. So once again, I'm going to read the number, and it ends up being 225 ones, two tenths. On our vertical line, and the bottom is going to end up being 225 ones. One more than that for the top, because the question is, is it 225 ones or is it 226 ones? Now we look to the next place value from ones, which would be the tenths. And we can see we had two tenths in this number. And two tenths would be right about here. Because we know in the center would be 225 ones, five tenths. Now, since our number is below the center line, we know we're going to round to 225 ones. Our last one has us rounding to the closest tens. So I look at the tens, and I can see that I have 22 tens, five ones. And I'm not worried about the rest of these numbers because we're only looking at the place value right next to it to determine what we're rounding. So as far as the bottom, I know I have 22 tens. In the top, it's going to be one more, which is 23 tens. In the center, we're going to have 22 tens, five ones. So we can see we have, according to our number, we have 22 tens, five ones, which happens to be right on the center. But since it's five or above, we're going to push it up and we would round to 23 tens. In question three, first thing we're going to do is go ahead and write the number in, put it in each place value. Now, the for, on A, it says hundreds, so I'm going to my hundreds, and once again, I'm going to take all these digits, and I'm going to put them in the hundreds place. So I know we have 898 hundreds and four thousandths. So I know I'll, since we have 898 hundreds, that is going to be our bottom number, hundreds. Up top, we're going to have one more than that, so that's 899 hundredths. In the center, we know it's 898 hundredths. And 
And since it's right in the, between the two, we know we're still going to have five thousandths. Now we come back to, to our original number, and it has 898 four thousandths. So we know it's going to be right below the number, below the halfway point, which means we would round to 898 hundredths. Coming to the tenths position, we can see we're going to have 89 tenths, eight hundredths. So on the bottom, we would 89 tenths. The top would be 90 tenths. And the center is 89 tenths, five hundredths. So we can see here this 89 and 8. So 89 and 8 hundredths is going to be right about here, which means it's rounding to 90 tenths. Now we're coming to our ones. On the ones, we have 8 ones, 9 tenths. So the bottom would be 8 ones, top is 9 ones, and the center is 8 ones, 5 tenths tenths. Now we know by our number here we have eight ones nine tenths which would put it right about here. Since we're five and above we'd round to nine ones. And our last one we're talking about tens. We have zero tens eight ones. So in the bottom we'd go zero tens. Up top would be one ten. In the center, it's going to be zero tens, five ones. As you can see by this, we have eight ones. So I'm going to put eight ones right about here. It's five and above, so we'd round to one ten. Question number five. It says Jules reads that one pint is equivalent, which means equal, to 473 liters. He asks the teacher how many liters are in a pint. The teacher responds that there are about 47 hundredths liters in a pint. He asks his parents and they say there are about 5 tenths liters in a pint. Jules says they are both correct. How can that be true? Well, if I take a look at a number line and here's ones, tenths, and hundreds. If I place in our original number, which is zero, four, seven, three, and this is thousands. If I am reading this and rounding, and the first one said it was 0.47 liters in a pint, okay? That'd be 47 hundredths. If I were to read this number to the hundredths, it would be 47 hundredths. Now, if I was rounding this number to the tenths place, let's go with a vertical number line. On the bottom, you can see we have four tenths, top would be five tenths, in the center we're going to have four tenths, five hundredths. Now our number is actually four tenths, seven hundredths, which would be right about here. So we end up rounding to five tenths. So 47 hundredths can also be written in a des decimal fraction as so. And then we know 5 tenths and written as a decimal fraction would be here. So here we can see that both are correct.